grocery shopping. What, 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 what? Hey everybody, what, it's Shayna, also known what, as Thrifty Nurse. What, what, I am here what, today what, to what, do another what, plush what, shop, what, or not shop Goodwill, plush Goodwill blue box unboxing. So, I have another 10 pound plush box that I got for $19.99 plus $5 shipping. I just opened it. I haven't looked in it yet. Um, I'm going to go through that. And real quick, I'll show you guys the stuff too. I just got off the shop Goodwill. So, I got this vintage clown and doggy quilt. That's super cute. It's got little dogs, and then the back side's got balloons. I think I paid like six dollars for that. It was about ten shipped. I got this Craig Tracy. He's a body painter, and then he takes uh, pictures and has them done as art print after he finishes the paintings. And I looked him up. Comps looked pretty good. So I did pay up for this one a little bit. I think I paid like $40 or $50 shipped. But it looks like a lot of his pieces sell into the hundreds. So I'm hoping I'll make a good profit on it. It's still in the case and it's signed and numbered and everything. From the Craig Tracy Fine Art Body Painting Gallery. So hopefully that'll make me some good money. And then this Garfield phone, I also paid up for a little bit. I think I paid like $25, $30 shipped. But it looks like they sell routinely for about $70, $80. And it's in the box. So hopefully I will make a decent profit on that too. Kind of went a little overboard on Shop Goodwill the other week. And um, just ordered a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that I really didn't need. But we are going to do this box. So the first thing I have here is this, looks like a Pac-Man plush, or like an emoji plush. Oh, it is Pac-Man, that's cool. So that should probably do pretty decent, I would think. Let's see, does it have a year on it? No, no year, but I'm sure that'll do pretty decent. Video game stuff usually does. I see a T, is it T-Y or Ty? I always have said T-Y, but then I've heard other people say Ty. But it specs the elephant. So these on their own usually aren't worth much, but I do have a bunch of them that I can lot up. So I'm sure that will do good. This is a Gans, oh, what are those called? Wild Pets? One, no, Webkins, Webkins. That's what that is. These are another one they usually don't do super good on their own. There's some that do, but I don't know if this is one of them. But I can wad it up with some others if nothing else. Then we've got this plush bear by Gund. That's usually a pretty good brand. Snoodles. And no year, but it looks like an older tag, so I'll have to look that one up see how it does. Oh, this is a cute little ducky. Or chick. Looks like a baby chicken. Duck. <laughs> I don't know what I want to call it. Princess Soft Toys is the tag. And it was no year. But that's really cute. There's a lot of small ones in this box, so this looks like another tie or TY. The tag is kind of faded. I can't make out the name, something with the S. But it's just a little tie-dye bear, so I'll lot that up with some other ones. And then here's another one, Scorch the Dragon. He's a little bit worn, but he is really cute. He's got like the shiny wings. And this looks like another one. Mel the Koala. I think I remember that one. That's an older one. He's a little worn too. And then we've got this teeny tiny Hobby Lobby plush. It's like a poodle with Velcro or magnet arms. So I don't know about that one. That one I'll either donate or lot up with some bigger stuff. 
This I am interested in because I actually have a big one of these in my car. I believe it's the same brand and everything and it matches it like perfectly. So that's really cool. I'll definitely put those together now. And it has like a magnet or like a cuff, like a slap bracelet it feels like right there. So you can hook it on things. So that's really cool. It's Wild Republic. Here we have a little penguin. Squish by Daytel or something like that. I can't tell what that exactly says. It's filled with like some kind of beanies it feels like. It looks older and it's really stretchy. So I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. Alright, then we've got, there's a lot of little ones in here. This little angel bear. Um, that's from Dollar Tree, so that's not going to be worth anything. I'll probably just donate that. We've got this little snake. It feels really cheap. It's by Gotha. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look that up, but I'll probably just donate that. It looks like it's not going to be worth much. Um, this kind of matches that octopus, like the design, but it's by a different brand. It's K&K &K Sales and no year Jurassic Giants oh 2019 Jurassic Di Giants so I'll have to look that one up I guess it's a dinosaur um I think this is a Disney plush here the tag is gone but I'm pretty sure that's a Disney plush I can't think of what it's from is it Bambi or Robin Hood or something I'm like 99% sure that's a Disney plush. Alright, then we've got this tiny one. This is no brand. It's just a little tiny cheap dog. So that'll either get donated or lauded. Ooh, this one is Rolly. It's a vintage 101 Dalmatians. And I actually have three other ones of these, so I will definitely add this one to that lot, because they haven't sold yet. Happy Meal, T.Y., Sammy, that's, sorry I ran out of space, but yeah, I'll put that in a lot with the other T.Y. stuff, or Thai stuff. You're a Hoot, by Progressive Plush like a balloon it feels like it was sticky at one point I don't think that's gonna be worth much and then we've got two of these little secret life of pets they look like they might have been from a happy meal toy um, I did sell some secret life of pets plush already otherwise I would have put it with those but National Geographic kids Eurasian Otter. That looks like a Happy Meal toy, too. We got a little snowman with a scarf. That's from Walmart. Probably not worth a whole lot. That's a cute little tiger. 1991 K&M. So I'll look that up since it's old, but I'm not anticipating it's going to be worth a whole lot. There's a little tiny jointed bear. They gave me a lot of tiny ones. Made in China, Wings International, probably not worth much. Alright, this looks like Winnie the Pooh, Kangaroo, Walt Disney World. It is a little bit worn. It looks older. The tag looks older to me, but I don't see a date. Kanga, Kanga with the little baby Roo. Yeah, so I think that'll probably sell. And I have some other Winnie the Pooh plush I can lot it with, if nothing else. Um, 2019 Animal Adventure. It's a little dog with a heart on the foot. I don't think that's going to be worth much. This is a cool one. That's The Land Before Time. I used to love this movie by Gund, so that's a good brand too. Yeah, I think this one will probably be worth something, I'm sure. It's vintage and 
probably hard to find and it's in good condition. A Build-A-Bear dinosaur. I swear I can't sell Build-A-Bear to save my life. I just almost gave one away recently that had a bunch of accessories and a bag and everything. I think I sold it for nine dollars and yeah I just can't sell Build-A-Bear. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I will list it. Here's another little cheap Chinese made like Walmart stuffed bear. Probably just donate those. There's a banana. I don't see a monkey that it goes with. Maybe I have one. Here is a little frog. Oriental Trading Company. Probably not worth anything. There's Mary M. Mary Mayer. Little plush. 2002 ladybug or I think it's a ladybug, right? I don't know. I'll look that one up. And then there's another Build-A-Bear, and this one is like a reindeer, Let's see if he has a name, no, so yeah, it's a reindeer with a little T-Rex dinosaur sweater on, that's kind of cute, but like I said, Build-A-Bear just doesn't seem to do it for me, I don't know. So, that is my second plush box. I am definitely not as impressed with this one as I was with the first one. But, I do think I probably can at least make my 25 bucks back, surely. Um, I don't know, I'll have to look up some comps on these and see what I figure out. But I definitely think I can make $25 back off of that, so... Not totally disappointed, but not the best. The last one I had was definitely better, but I think I just got really lucky on that one. So, I'll probably order them again. Um, I mean, it's fun to get a surprise and, you know, look for hidden treasure. I always enjoy doing that, so I'm sure I'll order one again at some point after I sell some of the plush I have. Uh, I think I'm going to try to slow down on sourcing for a little while, but yeah, so that is my second plush box. If you want to see the first one, you can go back on my videos, and I think I posted it like two weeks ago. There is another plush unboxing that had a lot better plush in it. And make sure you come back and check out my channel again. I'll be posting um, some reseller challenges soon. And I'll be posting some what sold videos. So if you want to see those, just come check me out. I usually post every week. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. I'm all sweaty, so I'm not turning the camera back around. <laughs> Alright, bye. Stay thrifty. I'm stunting and flossing and saving my money and I'm hella happy that's a bargain. I'ma take your grandpa style. I'ma take your grandpa style. No for real.